Dayton High School Basketball. Our broadcast is made possible in part through the financial support of Zook Motors, Kane Lumber and Fuel True Value Hardware, W.E. Swanson Insurance Agency, Field Street Boots, Allegheny Eye Care, Highlander Energy, Rich Gas, Lindbergh Furniture, and Dine Excavating. Now, let's go live courtside for the game on the official station of Wolfpack Nation, 1017 XCY. Good evening. Welcome to the Kane Area High School in the Wolves' Den. Tonight's contest will feature the Brockway Lady Rovers in your hometown, Kane Lady Wolves. This is Jim Coppersmith alongside Rick Fisher, John Carnival, he's working our equipment behind us. Tonight is Senior Rec Night for the Lady Wolves, showcasing our four senior ball players: Maya Smith, Leah Tagani, Haley Hillman, Kylie Ayak, and our number one stat lady, Frankie Ishman. The drum line is here in full force. Boy, should are they. A nice sized student section. It should be a good one. We're anxious to see what happens. Yeah, this, this could be a good game. This is a turning point for the Wolves. I mean, we're coming in. We, we played these guys in January down there, and we beat them four, by 11, 41-30. So uh, the Rovers are looking to do a little revenge factor tonight. So they have a young team, one senior, one junior, and led by sophomores and a freshman primarily. Yeah. Yeah, and, and a lot of them got a lot of playing time in the JV game, which the Kane won 41-17 for the Lady Wolves, which was a good win for them. And yeah. our last uh, home uh, game for the girls this year. A lot of the Wolves benches, a lot of the Wolves bench played the JV game too, so it'll be our four seniors plus uh, Izzy Saps, so although it didn't play in the JV game. So it should be pretty interesting today. They, they sat. They sat five, we sat five coming into it. Right, right, right. The Lady Wolves are in their white uniforms, trimmed in blue. And the Rovers are in all black, trimmed in red, with Lady Rovers on the front. Brockway comes in tonight with a 7-13 record. They're 1-6 in the conference, and they're fifth in the standings. The Wolves are at 9-9. Nine and nine. We're 0-3 oh in the conference, and we're sixth in the conference play. It should be interesting. It should be a good ball game. I think Coach Esposito over there, he's playing a lot of freshmen. The future looks real bright for Brockway. Right. From what we've seen in the Kane Bunch, the future looks pretty good for Coach Weimer, too. So that'll be interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good night to travel up from Brockway. I mean, you couldn't have better roads. Okay, we're going to cut back to the station now for a few words, and we'll be back for the national anthem and the starting lineups. Basketball on 1017 XZY, supported by our friends of the Wolf Pack and businesses like these. W.E. Swanson Insurance Agency, offering auto, homeowners, and business insurance at 23 Fraley Street in Kane. W.E. Swanson Agency.com. Zook Motors, with new and pre owned vehicles and a service and parts department. They're online at zookmotors.net. Lindbergh Furniture, Route 219 north of Johnsonburg, and now Lindbergh Sleep Center at 410 Center Street in downtown Johnsonburg. They're a local dealer for brands like Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Ashley. More info at lindberghfurniture.biz. Dine Excavating. Their services include gravel and limestone, topsoil, and septic tanks. Located on Route 6 west of Kane, their phone number is 814-837-6990. Allegheny Eye Care, providing eye exams and additional coverage for eye and health situations in both of their Kane and Smithport locations. For more information, their phone number is 814-837-7880. Field Street Boots in Kane, a dealer for Carhartt and Timberline Clothing, as well as winter footwear and sporting goods. They're on Facebook under Field Street Boots. Highlander Energy, an industrial contractor specializing in the power, petrochemical, natural gas processing, pulp and paper industries. HighlanderEnergy.com. Kane Lumber and Fuel True Value Hardware. Building supplies, lighting, winter snow and ice removal products at their location on Hemlock Avenue in Kane. Rich Gas of Kane, providing propane gas services including delivery and installation with automatic refills. Online at RichGasInc.com. We thank these sponsors and friends like you for supporting Kane Wolves basketball coverage on 1017 XZ1. WXZY
We are back in the Wolves' den, getting ready for the National Anthem tonight. So we'll try to hang on to the starting lineups till after the National Anthem by the sound of it. So yeah, we're going to start it right now. So we'll sit back and listen to the announcement of the National Anthem ready to go. We are back in the Wolves' Den. We'll try to run the starting lineup for you real quick before we get going. For the starting Rovers, they have one senior starting, Reagan Gelnet. Two sophomores, Sophia Morrison, got that wrong, excuse me, Sophia Schmader and Rihanna Spindler. And two freshmen, Maria Buttery and Steph Morrison. Yes. And for the Lady Wolves, we have seniors, Haley Hillman. Kylie Ike, Maya Smith, Leah Tagani, and junior Isabel Saff. Oh, it's all yours, Rick, for play-by-play. -play. Let's see what happens. Wolves need to get out on a fast start tonight. I'd like to see them play with the lead. I truly believe their best offense it comes off of a press. Yes. And if Brockway has... Any weakness at the guard position, Kane will exploit that. Exactly. If it falls into a half-court game, Kane is usually in trouble. I, I think Haley can get it in the staff yep. and down low and, and get, get the Brockway Rovers in a little bit of foul trouble would be nice, too. So we noticed that Sophia Sch the Schmader was District 9 Girl Player of the Week last week. She had a couple big games. I said... As a sophomore, that's pretty good. Uh, right. That's huge. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of good athletes in this division, and for, for a sophomore to come through, that's that's impressive. It's got the red hair flopping in the wind. Mm. It's got a little ponytail. Yep. Wolves are huddling up. Big night. I don't know if you call this a rebuilding year for Coach Esposito. They're usually... Brockway's not the strongest in basketball, but they've been improving each year. Yeah. He's been around a long time. He's been there. And I think the, the seniors for Kane have lead, left a pretty good foundation for the ones behind them. This is a tough, tough, hard-nosed bunch, and they, right. they give you everything they have. They really do. All night. They really do. It carries over from their volleyball, too. You can tell yep. the way they play volleyball is the same way they're playing basketball. They're, most of them, they're pretty intense. And at least with the Haley Hillman, she wears her emotions on her sleeve. And mm -hmm. Leah Tagani is usually on the floor, literally on the floor the whole game. So Staff's taking the jump for the Wolves. And Spinda is for the Lady Rovers. Wolves are going left to right tonight. Tip one oh. by Brockway. <laughs> oh, oh it, that that was very inadvertent, but it was pretty physical. We got a foul on Leah Tagani right off the bat. Two there. seconds into the game, she found somebody an inch taller than her and ran into her. Yeah, she's not on purpose. She's smiling. She's not smiling. on purpose. She no, knows not at it. all. No, no. She just like leaned into her. 
but it Morrison's won't stop her. bringing She'll the be ball in her face up. the whole night. So yeah, she's point guard tonight. Kane's playing a uh, two-one-two zone down low. Brings it back up to Gilnet. Gilnet in the spinda. Shaw a little long rebound to Gani. Oh, Ooh, whose ball is it? It's like Lady Wolves. Yep, Wolves ball. Leah's taking it out. Hillman's going to get the ball. Wolves left to right. Degani bringing the ball up. Brockway also a uh, one, uh, looks like a 2-1-2 two, two two, zone. Two. Wolves are passing around the outside. They're double teaming the ball carrier. Down low to Ike. Ike up the staff. Nice shot. Oh, yeah. in and out. Good rebound. South Back. pulls it down. Oh. Oh. Nope. That was a breakaway. Gilnad up. No good. No good. Rebound over to Kailani. Kailani bringing the ball up, settling it down. Over to Hillman on the right wing. Long pass over to Ike. Ike's getting double teamed back to Degani. Staff over to Hillman. Hillman set shot for three off the back iron. No good. Rebound Rovers. Schmader. Oh, going coast to coast. No, she got too far under it. Back to Degani, Wolves 0-0, 640 in the first. Back in the staff. Oh, she, I'd like to see her back that down in. Off the front iron. Stolen away. Yeah, Smith had a good shot there. Schmader got a rebound. She's bringing the ball up. It seems like they switch whoever they want on yeah, the point. Long, 24. Oh, oh, a little short. Out of bounds. Wolves ball. Almost two minutes in. No scoring as of yet. Yeah. Hillman going to give it out to Tagani. Brockway still selling into that zone. Looks like they're trapping the wing. When the ball goes to the wing, they're double teaming the wing. More down low to Tagani's staff. She needs to bring that inside. Use their height advantage over that. Long shot by Tagani off the back Can't iron, out of bounds. Rover's ball. I think Rover's content to box it and keep it in tight and make Kane shoot over the top. Oh, now Wolves are pressing. This is Full what they want to press. do. Spinda's bringing the ball up. She's left-handed dribbling down in the corner. They're double-teaming her. Actually, triple-teaming her. She gets the ball up to Schmader. Schmader, a little long. Oh, oh rebound to Gani. Come <laughs> on. On the run. Oh, bounced it off the foot. Oh, helmet on oh, the floor. Nice, <laughs> nice. Oh, it stays here. Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and Schmader. Well, the spin does not say, no, like, who, who touched it? it? Yeah. She's not sure. Her the official saying it Hillman, bounced Hillman off her smiling She's smiling. <laughs> Looks like. Back up to Smith. Smith back down to Hillman. Oh. She getting double teamed inside. Snap. Walk. Yeah, she did. She saw yeah. the basket but couldn't get to it. Yep. Yeah. Wolves full court press again. Schmader's bringing the ball in. Oh, they're looking to double team. Ooh, oh, a, they're oh, oh boy. got away with the carry. Big time. Gilnet passes it over to Buttery. Buttery did not take the shot. Now she puts the shot up a little long. Rebound Haley Hillman. Hillman. And she's being rolled. Yeah, 24 spin Spinda got her. First got foul. her on the arm. That's a good foul, though. That's a good foul for Brockway. That's her first. Hillman's bringing the ball out on right in front of us. Tagani's playing the point. Brockway's up oh, there. I, oh, I she, she walked. Travel. She walked. <laughs> One dribble. That's been a layup. Yep. Got to settle our game, nerves game, down. Calm down. Calm down. Yep. Three minutes in, almost no score. Full court press again for the Lady Wolves. <laughs> Morrison gets the ball up to Gilnet. Gilnet going to take it all the way. Off the rim. Off the rim. Oh, she over the back of Tagani. That, that's on Gilnet. That's Gilnet's first team second. Yep. That's just one of them frustration fouls. She, she should have had a layup. <laughs> Looks like Olmstead's coming in. Kelly Ike going to sit for a couple of minutes. Yeah. I like this lineup. I like yep. a little bit of height here. Brockway's content to let the Wolves bring the ball up. Pagani's bringing it over to Hillman. Hillman down nice inside pass. the staff. 
Smith. Yep. Hillman's going along she again. She on back down front. I thought that oh, was in. No, off the front iron. Schmader bringing the ball up. She wants the for ball. The Rovers. She wants the ball. Oh, I thought she was going to put it up. Butters is off oh. the front iron. Rebound Hillman. Hillman's going through. Keep going. Keep He's coming. Oh, inside to Smith. Come on. Put it up. Oh, oh too far underneath. Staff. Staff. Yeah. There we go. First basket, 422 of the game. 2 nothing. Lady Wolves pressing again. Schmader got almost got the ball stolen from her. It's just it's in for 24. Yeah. Friggin' going Spinda. Oh, Spinda. Spinda. Nice shot. She's a nice follow through on that. Two twos score. Four minutes in the first. Dugani down into Olmstead. Olmstead up staff. She's going to take that shot. A little long. Rebound Schmader. She's got about three or four she rebounds does. already. And over to Gilnet. Gilnet launches a three a little long. Down to Buttery. Buttery out to Schmader. Got the There's ball Dugani. tipped away. Got rid of Here we go. Nice. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh. And a foul by Haley. Yeah, she come over the back. Boy, it looked like Schmader got hurt yeah. on that. Looked like she hit her elbows pretty hard on that. On the floor. She's good. She's up. She's throwing the coach. She's okay. You can expect a physical game, though, if you play the King girls. They're going to give you all they got. Yeah, Buttery come out. And number 12, Hughes. And, and Hughes, and Hughes check, yeah. checked in. And there's another freshman to, in for the Rockway. Chances are she played a lot of the JV games. Yep. Spin this down low. Haley's guarding her real hard. Back up to Schmader. Schmader in to Gilnet. Gilnet I think down low. Oh, Hillman's everywhere. Yeah, she got right in the passing lane. Dugani passed up. Oh. Smith, <laughs> she it. got it taken from her. Oh my. Schmader got it taken <laughs> from her. Schmader's going to probably go coast to coast. No call. No call. Came ball. Came she gets ball. off the floor questioning that no call. Yeah. <laughs> I think it rolled off her hands I, before there have. was contact. Yeah. Dugani's bringing the ball up. It looks like Olmstead's down low. Staff's on high on the paint. And Smith's down in the right corner. Oh, good bullet, luck. Bullet good bullet. luck. Nice pass, Haley. Nice pass. She's wide Haley open. Olmstead. Nice. That was a nice look down low inside the home. So that's there. Okay. If okay. they're going to play that zone and they want you to pass around, you got to look down low. And that's where I like the two tall girls for game yeah. staff and Homestead in the lineup. Together. They both move real well. Yeah, they do. Four to two in the first period. Wolves on top. This is as tight as it was down in Brockway, Joe. Probably. Coach Weimer's drawing up something for Smith. I think he wants her to look down low into that so. wing because it, it, it's there. Just And Tagani can see that. She needs just a little space to operate. That's a yep. It looks like the Wolves are going to pick up half-court press. Yes, they are. Haley's going right after it. Let's see. Schmader's it. bringing the ball up. Buttery checked back in for the Rovers. Hughes on the bench. Oh, it away. was tipped. Tipped by staff. Sure. Smith bringing the ball up. Dribbled left-handed. Ooh, good almost. thing. She, ooh, almost. <laughs> but she saved it. She's close. Yeah. Passes over to Gani. Gani calls a play. It's over to Hillman. But there she is back door. Home set again. Same play. Yes. See, it's there. Look for it. Nice. Very nice. 6-2 Wolves. Hillman almost picked it off. Buttery took a shot, little long rebound oh, two, staff. Two King girls fighting for yep. it. They lost it. Who's it off? It, that's good hustle on that Morrison girl. Yeah, she's, she almost picked that off. They're giving up a little height advantage, everybody, yeah. but uh, Galnett's the only one with any size under there. Yeah. Dugani bringing the ball up. Half court over to Hillman on the right wing, passing over to Ike. Ike get back to Dugani. Dugani to staff. Haley putting up the three a little long. She, it that's there. That's her it's shot right, right there. She started. She just gets, keep. She hits firing one. away. Yep. 
Shot by He's coming. Oh, Morrison. Got a reach on 24. Yep. yep. That's spin spin the second foul. That's two on her. Third, third team foul on Coach Lady Rose. Coach is going to the bench, bringing in Hughes again, freshman. Taking out Spinda. Spinda has two fouls. She didn't sit on the pine for a while, get a drink. Brockway still playing the zone. I, I, Wolves ought to look down low. To, oh, oh, nice move, nice she's, move. She's coming over. Oh. Had Buttery faked right out, went right to the ground. A little too long on the shot. Schmader bringing the ball up for the Rovers. Off the gill net in the corner. Gill net puts short. a shot up a little Got short. Her gets her own rebound. Uh, she tried oh. to pass out. Right to Smith. Right, right to Smith. Good. Under Good a minute defense. to go. Tagani looking over to Smith. Smith back to Tagani inside the helmet. Moving, helmet. moving the ball good there. Yeah. She's not, she not holding on to it. Tagani puts a shot up a little long on the back iron. See, those are rebounds rebound can't you get, though, right there. The smallest girl yep. on the court got the rebound. She made her going, going coast to coast. A little too long. A little too hard off Kylie there. Ike. Ike's looking up. Smith's up front. Trying to get control off Oh, it. she lost control. She should have had Smith on the wing. Schmader. Uh, Tagani yeah. second. Tagani? Nope. Is that an Ike? Or that was on Ike. Leaned into her. Is that her second? That's her. Nope, her first. Tillman's coming out. Third team foul, though. Izzy's coming in, giving Hillman a little break. She needs a break. Yeah. She was all over the place. Rebound in oh, the Hughes. Got a, we got a foul. Another yeah. one on Ike. Yeah. Hughes just a little bit quicker. Beat her on. That's a fourth that, team foul on Kane. Yeah. That was a good pick and roll yeah. there. Smaders bringing the ball in. A little Haley Schaefer coming in for Kane, replacing yeah. Kylie Ike. Yeah. Schmader looking to pass it in. Gets oh. the ball over to Morrison. She's driving. Ooh. That was tipped by Sapp, but she's got control. Yeah. Gilnets. She's picking the dribble off too much. Nope, Buttery. Nope. Morrison has the ball now up on top. Looking down low. That's Schmader. No foul. That's nope. good. Nope. That's good defense. Six, they give up a shot at the six, end. 6 2 Wolves after the first one. We'll get that on there. We'd like to thank our friends of the Wolf Pack to get your name on the list, drop off your $10 donation to Photo and Style Shop, or you can donate via PayPal on WXZYRadio.com. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to bring you these games. Tonight, sponsors, Lindsay Novosel, Richard Smith, Debbie Lenaway family, Keith and Linda Regal, Jack and Linda Headland, Jim and Kathy Graville, Corey Dar, Jason and Christina Wenzel, Julie and John Cleland, John and Christy Dar, Kellen Gretto, Allison Miller, Rennie Sackwin, Penny and Wally Barber, Todd Stanko, Woodside Oils of Kane, Rita Graville, Ariana and Jocelyn Graville, Bill and Kim Jacchetti, Ron Carty, Denny and Perky Galvin, Joan and Thomas Walker, Misty Slater, and Kelly Mays. Thank you so much for your sponsors. We couldn't do this without you guys. Ooh. Fast first quarter, a lot of action up and down the court, not, not much for scoring. We got you. Yeah, it's crossed off this sheet. We'll get that fixed. Oh, they, we got it. Yeah, they had it crossed out on the Add list. Karen Carty to that list of Friends of the Wolf Pack there. Oop. You betcha. Ball tipped away from Tamani. Morrison up putting and it in. up and a foul. Morrison with a basket and a foul. Foul on. Is that on Leah? Yes, it was. And that's her second foul. That just come off the shin of, yep. of a wolf and it went right to Morrison. Morrison shot up, no good. Hillman. Rebound. Haley Hillman She's bringing the ball up. She's going all the way coast around. To coast out of control. Oh. Got it back to Ike. Ike in the corners, double dribbled. Or they, nope. they, they build around in a foul. Yeah. I think it was on buttery. buttery. Yeah, it's her first. Wolves taking the ball out underneath. Haley's looking to pass it in. Over to Ike. Ike out to Staff. Staff in. Hillman, she's putting up a three. A little long off the back iron. Rebound Rovers. Morrison bringing the ball up. She went right at Tagani oh, right, trying to get another right foul. Bad pass. 
She had the right idea to try to get Tagani in foul Tyler's trouble. going. Oh, oh no. a little long. Oh, this is Oh, good. rebound. Schmader underneath. She's going coast to coast. No good. Oh, we oh, got oh. offensive foul. Oh, she looks she looks stunned on that call. Yeah, that's a good call. Tagani beat her to the spot, turned around, set her feet. Tagani had to watch herself because she's got two fouls, but she, yep. she got the call on that one. Schmader's not impressed. No. Esposito's she's, giving it to the official. She's, she's talking to herself. Yeah. Okay. Rover still staying in the zone. Tagani's bringing the ball up. Wolves still going left to right tonight. First half. Pass over to Ike. Ike down low to Smith. going to get tied up. No, she got rid of it. Yep. Yeah. Double teamed inside. Oh, got a, nice. We got another foul underneath on the Rovers. Is that on Buttery again? No, no, no number 10. Number that ten. was on Schmader. Schmader. Oh, that's two on her. They might have to pull her this half, too. Seth, uh, jump Seth ball. Tied up. Possession Rovers. 6 4, a minute into the second period. Schmader's banging the ball up for the Lady Rovers. She's looking to pass over to Gilnet. Gilnet's looking down low to Buttery. Buttery puts up a shot. A little good long. Rebound Didn't by right. Helen. Come right to her. Oh, throw it along. Long pass. Over. Oh, good. Oh, oh nice. nice. I thought she was too I far under the basket. Too. Nice look, Hillman. Nice Hillman with the basket. Nice. Very nice. Schmader's driving in. No call. No. She saves it, too. To Tagani. Tagani's bringing the ball up. She's going. She has Ike in the corner. Oh, no oh, good. Rebound. Spinda. Spinda not looking up. Oh, not, nice pass. Oh. Yep. Not looking she to gave shoot. Gave up a shot there. Off the roll. Hillman's all over oh, the back. She is. Rebound. Smith. Yep. Smith passes over to Hillman. Tagani, Tagani's going to let it settle down, down to Ike. Ike into Staff. Staff up. Well, come, well, come. Right, but look Good at Smith. By Smith. Took that ball away from Schmader. Put it up shot a little long. Spinda got the rebound. Passes back to Schmader. Schmader pass over to Spinda. Spinda's putting up a three. A little long off the back iron to Buttery. Stolen away. Oh, 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 good save. Yeah. Everybody's playing hot potato. A little long from Buttery. It's going to be Wolf's ball with a 5.23 mark of the second. Olmstead back in and yeah, well, staff is going out. And Anna, Anna Hughes is coming back in for Brockway. Schmader's going out. I wonder who's going to bring the ball up. <laughs> she had the ball most of the time. Listen, she's been controlling everything for yeah. Brockway. Tugani bringing the ball up over to Hillman. Hillman over. over to Ike. Ike back to Tagani, Tagani to Olmstead. Olmstead to Smith. Smith back to Olmstead. Haley passes over to Tagani. Tagani looking inside to Olmstead. Olmstead to Ike. Ike a little long. Fighting for the rebound oh, underneath is Smith. Ooh, oh, they got to travel. Oh. Nope, on, a baseline. on the line. Yep, on the line. He was in with about, up about three rovers in there. Pulled it down. Yeah. So it looks like... Number 20, Morrison's going to bring the ball up. Sophie Morrison. She's a freshman, yep. too. That's a lot of responsibility oh, for a freshman to be the point guard at any level. Spinda puts up a shot. Up and, and in. 8-6, Wolves. Okay, we're in a ball game now. Yeah, we got to get a basket here. It's been been a while since Tagani put that shot up. Tagani's. Ike Down is short. Ike. Oh, Hillman. she got poked in the eye. I got poked in the eye. I don't think if the coach sees that or not. Tagani going long off Way there. long. Rebound. Rockway's doing a good job on those boards. They're, they're under man height-wise here. Yeah. They crash the boards hard, though. It, it's usually like three black jerseys around a white one. Inside pass. Too long. Oh, she's right underneath. That's a hard shot. Rebound. Back to Brockway. Passing the ball around. 24. Spinda. Spinda again. They, they, Rockway got the first lead of the night for the Lady Rovers. 9-7. Coach Weimer calls a timeout. 
Much deserved. We got to get a play drawn Good. up here. It's been to seven points out of the nine for Brockway. Wow. Yep. Nice. Nice. Kane's only sitting on two for the quarter. We only got a few minutes left. Here. I think Coach Weimer's giving it to them a little bit because they've been playing kind of sloppy. But I mean, they got to crash the board. They That's got to. It can't be three black no. on one white. Uh, just that one white jersey down low. It, 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 it's just like a swarm of yeah. rovers around they're, that. They're like I said they're boxing it in and making Kane shoot. That's it's right. One and done. Right. I like to see him go back down low to one of the big girls, either Olmstead or that opened early the second quarter. Yeah. And they, we kind of went away from yep. it. That's where we were getting our baskets, right underneath. Olmstead had two clean looks before. Yeah. For an opposing team coming into Wolf then that drum line can be a little intimidating. Oh, yeah. They're good. They're loud, yeah. though. For the most part, though, the fans love they it. Like them. They like them. The refs like all Two of the three refs like them, yeah. I should say. One guy's <laughs> he went the other end. He said it's still a little too loud. <laughs> he goes the other end. Wolf's ball out over on our sideline. Under four minutes to go in the half. Ike inbounding the ball to Hillman. It looks like Hillman, Staff, Olmstead, Smith. That's oh, a steal. Haley's pass, Ike a little too long. Spinda puts one up, a little Good long. Hillman. Rebound. Hillman again. Long pass. Oh. Ooh, Smith pulls it down. That's too just hard. being tough. That's just being a tough That's athlete. the first offensive rebound Kane has gotten, I think. Yeah. Back down low to Smith. Oh. Stolen away. Oh, yep, all them black jerseys. Jump ball, Wolves ball. Nice, nice. Good hustle, both yep. teams. Hillman and Olmstead thought we were going the other way. Tagani's checking in, and Smith's taking the seat. Hill, he's going to bring the ball in from out to Tagani. Down low to Hillman. Nice. Oh, she got oh. hit in the arm. Yeah. That should have been a two shotter. <laughs> Shot cut way late on that one. Morrison bringing the ball up. Well, nice move. The Rovers. Stop. Jump turn. shot. Little too short. Oh, she got, she got the run bound. Up, no good. Olmstead, good hustle. Who's they going to call? Kane ball. Yep. Off a of Schnick. That's first she's been in tonight. And he was going to get a break. They got to get. They played yeah. the whole JV game. They got to yeah. get some rest. Buttery's in back in for the Rovers. Dugani bringing the ball up down low to Ike. In the staff double move. I think that God was the message from Coach Weimer. We're going inside. We have to, have to look at the height of games. Who's that foul on? Let's see here. Number thirty. That's Buttery's second foul. Bella Saf on the line. Oh, too little, hard. Yep, a little too hard. Need this one to tie it up. Ike's checking out. Schmader coming back in for the Rovers. And Smith checked in for the Wolves and gave Ike a break. <laughs> tie ball game. Nothing but nylon. Nice job. Nice job, Izzy. Schmader bringing the ball up. Passing over to Spindle. Can't let her shoot. She's she, the one that's. got to travel. Oh, yeah. She, she should have shot when she had a chance first She did. Time. It was, she she was had open. the open. She wanted to go. And then yep. Brockway's checking in two. Schick and who's Schick and Hughes. Two freshmen. Holy wow. moly. That's a small lineup. Yeah, so it is. We need to go small. down low to Olmstead. Look at the size of any young Olmstead down on 20. They got to use inside. Well, right, nice there, right there, right nice. there. Oh, she got hit nice. in the arm. Yep, two shots. That fouls on Morse, and that's her first. Team's four. Team's fifth. Puts us at the two-shot foul line? Yeah, I think it is. It's either on the fifth or after the fifth. I'm not sure. Well, it was a shooting foul. Okay. Since two either shots. Way. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Kane takes a 10-9 lead. Schmader's back in, says Buttery. The two little freshman girls are out. That was a short. Yeah. 
break for those two. Nice. 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 Very nice. Very nice, Smith. Schmader looking down low deep. Morrison it's for three. Swift. Morrison for three in the corner. They got the lead again. 12-11. 2.06 left first half. Smith down low over to Hillman. Hillman's going. Oh, she, she walked. She had the right idea, but yeah. come too soon. Yeah. Yeah. Two minutes left in that half. Ike's back in. Olmstead taking the seat for the Wolves. Morrison bringing the ball up. Looks like they're going to get a foul over the top on Haley. Come on, Haley. We don't need that one. Second team foul to her. Or second foul. Also second team foul. Yep. Yep. Rovers taking the ball out near sideline. Schmader guarded by Smith in the Spinda. Spinda down low. Looking to pass. She gave up her dribble. Way out. Out to Gilnet. Gilnet. Gilnet that down to Schmader. Schmader, oh, good idea. Tip ball. It's it stays off the here. Wolves. It stays here. Brockway's ball underneath. Spinda puts up a three, a little long. Oh, Rebound goes. Haley. Haley's on the She's ground. On the floor. Tagani tipped come. it to Degani. Degani's going to go coast to coast. Almost. Oh. Almost oh. walked. Oh, yeah. Back to Ike. Ike down low to Degani. Degani puts up a three off the front iron. No good. Up to Schmader. Schmader, Schmader is bringing the ball. She's coming. Oh, boy. Little net. A little short. Looked good. She hit the net. <laughs> <laughs> but a little short. Looked right on. Yeah. 108 left in the half. Brockway's bringing the two little freshman guards in. Schneck and Hughes. Well, they're gonna, that's going to help them down the road. Yeah. Yeah. Look how small the lineup no. is. Need to put staff down low where Ike is. Smith down low to Ike. Ike gives up her dribble to Smith. Smith back to Gawney. Ooh, she oh. almost lost the ball. Kane's way outside, but there's no reason for yeah. him to be out there. Brockway's back and packing in. They're not going out on they're the trying three. Trying to force it. No. Yeah, they're not. They're going to let Haley's him take that. going. Out. Nope. To Gawney down low to Ike. Ike. Oh. Ooh, that was close. Degani in the stat. There's where you want the ball to go. F up right in. there. Is he? Nice shot, Is. Morrison bringing the ball up. Wolves up. 13 12. Off the rim. Front iron, got three pointer. She got around everybody. Missed it. Morrison missed it. Short rebound. 15 staff. to go. 15 seconds. Haley down low to Degani. Oh. Degani puts up the shot. Oh, sh Little too hard. Let's Good see. save. Oh, they can't bring it down. Uh -huh. Hughes bringing the ball. Oh, but Tagani takes it away. Two seconds. Get a shot. Put it up. Too much. Oh. 13 to 12, Lady Wolves. Great game. A little sloppy, but a great game. Great game if you're a fan. That's it. We're going to cut back to the station for a little while. We'll come back and try to give you a little bit of information on the senior rec. When severe weather is headed our way, stay ahead of it with hourly updates from Jet 24. Only on 1017 XZY, WXZY LP Kane. Kane Wolves Basketball on 1017 XZY. Supported by our friends of the Wolf Pack and businesses like these. Allegheny Eye Care, providing eye exams and additional coverage for eye and health situations in both of their Kane and Smithport locations. For more information, their phone number is 814-837-7880. Field Street Boots in Kane, a dealer for Carhartt and Timberline clothing, as well as winter footwear and sporting goods. They're on Facebook on Boots. Highlander Energy, an industrial contractor specializing in the power, petrochemical, natural gas processing, pulp and paper industries. HighlanderEnergy.com. Kane Lumber and Fuel True Value Hardware. Building supplies, lighting, winter snow and ice removal products at their location on Hemlock Avenue in Kane. Rich Gas of Kane, providing propane gas services, including delivery and installation with automatic refills. Online at richgasinc.com. 
W.E. Swanson Insurance Agency, offering auto, homeowners, and business insurance at 23 Fraley Street in Kane. W.E. Swanson Agency.com. Zook Motors, with new and pre-owned vehicles and a service and parts department. They're online at zookmotors.net. Lindbergh Furniture, Route 219 north of Johnsonburg, and now Lindbergh Sleep Center at 410 Center Street in downtown Johnsonburg. They're a local dealer for brands like Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Ashley. More info at lindberghfurniture.biz. Dine Excavating. Their services include gravel and limestone, topsoil, and septic tanks. Located on Route 6 west of Kane, their phone number is 814-837-6990. We thank these sponsors and friends like you for supporting Kane Wolves basketball coverage on 1017XZY. I'm Ed Rose, and this is Citizen Kane. Each week on this broadcast, heard only on 101.7 WXZY-FM, I uncover little-known facts and forgotten memories from the hilltop. This week's program honors the Kane High School Alumni Memorial Fund and asks you, the listener, for your support. Founded through the generous donations of the Kane High Class of 1955, the fund provides annual awards to Kane High School students enrolled in or planning to enroll in a post-secondary program who have a proven financial need and have shown promise of academic success. Each year at reunion time and at alumni events, Kane High graduates are asked to consider contributing to this legacy fund. According to Matt Gailey, the Alumni Memorial Fund is facing some extraordinary challenges this year. As the number of Kane High graduates has been decreasing over the years, reunions are getting smaller. I think the class of 1972 was the biggest with almost 200 students. When you compare that to the class of 2020 with only 75 graduates, you see why reunion attendance is on the decline. With the pandemic this year and the cancellations of numerous reunion activities, this could be a real financial disaster for the fund. Gailey says the board has not issued a class challenge of late and says he thinks that doing so could give the fund a boost. As such, here's a formal call to action from Citizen Kane to members of the 2010 class and in particular to 2000 and 1995 graduates and of course to the class of 1970. Can that really be 50 years ago? It is astounding to think that members of the class of 1955 have contributed over $93,000 to the fund. Among the most generous contributors include Dick Armstrong, John Bachakis, who has served the board as treasurer, Donna Bennett Schubon, Jim Chicklow, and Bob Schubon, who became a source of inspiration for his classmates when he suffered paralyzing injuries in a trampoline accident at the high school. After his own lengthy and arduous therapies, Schubon went on to a successful career dedicating his life helping others as a rehabilitation executive. Other major donations from 1955 classmates were made by Betsy Dahl Shaming, Marvin Dalton, John Donovan, John Geary, Fred Johnson, Ruth Johnson, Rita Kelly Matter, Monty Montgomery, Pat Murtaugh Kajancic, Don Wismer, and John Thompson. In addition to Thompson's generous donation, he later took over as board president and was responsible for obtaining the fund's 501c3 status. Additional major donors include Thompson's sister Mary and her husband Russell, Chuck Daly, Ernest Eld, Mr. and Mrs. Richard Gentleman Sr., Mr. and Mrs. Leroy Magnuson, and John Moran. In all, board members of the Kane High School Alumni Memorial Fund have paid out almost $230,000 to 94 deserving local students. Along with Matt Gailey, fellow board members John Pachakis, 
Becky Miller, Tanya Hartzell, Tyler Hanna, Jenny Coppersmith, Ann Carney, Debbie Kilmer, Crystal Kajancic, and Kathy Gibson have helped keep the wonderful vision of the class of 1955 alive today. To do your part, send your tax-deductible donation payable to Kane High School Alumni Memorial Fund or KHS AMA Fund to P.O. Box 546 Kane, PA 16735. Be sure to include your class year to be counted in this year's challenge. Well, that's all for this week, friends. Please keep those story ideas coming and send your comments and suggestions to citizenkanepa at gmail.com. And thank you for listening. From your weather authority, Jet 24, I'm meteorologist Tom Atkins. Here's a look at your Kane area forecast. Patchy clouds, not as cold tonight. Low temperatures of 28 degrees. Sunny to partly cloudy for tomorrow. Warm for this time of year with a high near 50. Tomorrow night, again, partly to mostly cloudy skies. A little bit milder, a low of 36. And Friday, partly sunny, unseasonably warm. A little breezy as well. High temperatures on Friday of 54. Make it a great day. Wednesday night from Jet 24. We're, we're a ready. meteorologist Tom Atkins on 1017 XZY. WXY LP Kane. At home on your smart speaker, at work on your computer, or in the car on your radio. You're never far away from your music and programming on 1017 XZY. Hey, we are back in the Wolf's Den. It's halftime. The Kane Lady Wolf's leading the Brockway Road over 13 to 12. I'm going to run a real brief synopsis of the seniors. We don't have a whole lot of time to do it, but we'll at least tell you who they were, who their parents are, and what their future plans are. First one is Haley Hillman, parents Jim and Rebecca Hillman, and her future plans are to attend Slippery Rock University to major in psychology. Kylie Ike, she's the parents of or her, Angela Snyder and Derek Snyder of Kane. Her future plans are to attend Duke Kane and major in forensic science and law. Maya Smith, is the daughter of Katie and Tyler Smith. Her plans are to attend the University of Pittsburgh to major in biology and become a dermatologist. Leah Tagani is the daughter of Joe and Sarah Tagani, and Leah's plans are to attend Slippery Rock University to major in phys ed. And our French Francesca Frankie Ishman, our statistician over there, uh, her parents Jamie and J Jason Giordano came and her plans to attend Slippery Rock University Honors College majoring in graphic design. We're just about there, the stats for the first half real quick. There's only two girls in the scoring column for Lady Rovers. Sophia Morrison has five. Rihanna Spindler has seven, total of 12 points. For the Lady Wolves, we have three in figures. We have Maya Smith with four, Alexa Olmstead with four, and Izzy Saf leads the way with five for a total of 13 mm -hmm. points. So 13-12 at halftime. Hard fought game, not a lot of scoring, but up and down the floor. Yeah. Back to the seniors, though. I think uh, looking ahead to the future, Slippery Rock's getting some very quality kids from Kane. Real nice. I mean, they should be thrilled to death to have what they're getting from Kane, just, just on the court. And uh, Coach Weimer did a real nice presentation for him, too, and it really, really nicely laid out. And just he's yeah. proud of those girls and yeah. anxious to see where that, what happens to them down the road. Yeah. Rover starting the ball the second half, going left to right. Schmader's pass was tipped out of bounds, but it stays a Rover ball underneath her hoop. Schmader pass into Spinda. Spinda looking to drive down the lane. Pass too hard to Morrison. Ball's out of bounds. Wolves ball. Turnover for the Let's Wolves. see what kind of adjustments Coach Weimer made for the Wolves. It looks like Brockway's going to stay in the zone. 2-1-2 two, two zone. Pagani's pass, ooh, almost out. Hillman down low to Smith. Smith over to Ike. Ike up, and she is fouled. And it looks like Gilnet. Gilnet second. I think Kane's looking to work inside and draw some fouls. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. That's where we got most of our baskets. Yeah. The first half was in the paint. Ike's ball just a little off the right side of the iron, no good. Second shot. 
Up and in, 14-12 Wolves. Kylie Ike's first point on the board. Morrison passes over to Schmader. Schmader's pass over to Spinda. Spinda. Bullet pass inside. Oh, oh. Look, I don't think Schmader <laughs> was expecting no. that. Saf pulls it in. Yeah. Out to Degani. Degani to Hillman. Hillman into Smith. Smith staff. Right there is where she needs to be. Out to Degani. Degani over to Ike. Ike one step. Back out to Degani. Didn't like what she saw. Back down to her. Back over to Hillman. Hillman into We're Smith. Got it taken picked. away. <laughs> we got to follow Smith, I think. Let's yeah. see. Yep. 2 1. First foul on Maya. That's okay. Wolves look like they're going to. Nope. Haley's coming back. I thought they were going to press, but they. 14 12. Weimer called it off because of the foul yep. situation. Spinda has the ball. Oh, Ike picked off by Ike. She's going coast to coast. Oh, oh, a little too far. Tagani no. underneath. A little too much. Smith, no good. A little too hard. Haley, no. up and out. <laughs> Smith, another one. And, and oh. oh, we got a jump, jump ball. ball. That could have been a foul on Haley. Yeah. Well, Kane at least crashed the boards right there. That's they had four, <laughs> four shots. Four good opportunities. That's what he said they needed to do. Yep, keep crashing the board, girls. Back out to Degani, Degani to Smith. Smith set shot in the corner, three, no good. Rebound to Spinda. Spinda don't like the dribble. No. It looks like she just wants Grab to get and rid. get rid of it. Yep. As I say that, she drives in for a layup <laughs> and makes it. So I guess she does like the dribble. Tied ball game. Degani bringing the ball up. Down to Ike. Ike's looking to pass over. That's her shot, Hillman shot. Three, a little long. Rebound, butter. There she goes. Yep. Up. She made her. She might go. Oh, over. there's a walk. Oh, yep, they got I it. I think they got it. Yep. yep. She should have kept going. Yep. For a layup. 14 14, 558 and a third. That's one of those first ones of 20 wins. I'm not sure Ooh. where we were. Pagani brings the ball, looking to drive, passing down to Smith. Smith. Smith, Hillman cutting Hillman. I'll take that, though. Yep. That was a good oh, move. One's down. Hillman's on the floor. Yep. Schmader pass over to Morrison. Morrison shot a little long. Rebound by Schmader. Schmader to Splenda. Splenda too long. There's the pass. Yeah. The net. Gelnet's first basket of the game. Schmader's laughing. She knew it was an air ball. <laughs> Ike look. Oh, I thought she was going to pull the string on that one. Dugani back to Hillman. Hillman passing inside. No. Oh, oh Smith got nice. It nice shot, Smith. Very nice. In and out and back in. Morrison bringing the ball up. Down to Gilnat. Gilnat, we should get fouled by Salvin. Wow, no call. nice. Steph's feeling that one a little bit. I think she got winded on that yeah. one. Dugani's. To Hillman. Hillman guarded by Spinda. Back to Degani, setting up a play. Down to Ike. Ike to Smith, a little too much. Spin to rebound Schmader. Or the walk. Schmader. Oh. <laughs> so I, th I think Coach wanted her, wanted uh, Morrison to take that shot, not pass that ball. So I think she rode Haley, what they call it. Got yeah. a travel on Haley. Yeah. She Over rode the whole sideline, yeah. Homestead checking in for the Wolves. And Staff, I think Staff's hurt. She took that one to the chest from Gannett. She looks exhausted. Look at her. She knocked the wind out of her. And Ann Hughes checks in for the Rovers. She made her bring the ball up. Gannett taking that three. Oh, nothing oh. but that. Uh-oh, 19-16. She had Rovers. nothing in the first half. She has no. five in this quarter. Pagani's taking it upon herself in the trees. Pass. Nice pass down low. Smith. Oh! It, oh! oh woke up. <laughs> oh, my. Boy, just hung right there, too, didn't it? Who's that foul on? Number 10, again. Third foul on Schmader. She's, she might be coming over to the bench talking to her coach. Coach is telling her, you cannot do that. Smith sinks the first foul shot. Our second shot. 
Up and no good. Rebound Brockway. Spin does bring the ball up. Going long, Whoa. way long. Wow, that was like a dodgeball. <laughs> Look, Coach Esposito, he, he has to laugh at that one. Everybody was tucking on that one. You see the quarterback of the flag <laughs> football team on that one. She drilled that one a long way. Wow. Dugani looking to run the oh. play. Back to Dugani. Dugani in Olmstead. Olmstead out to home and back to Dugani down low. One pass too many. You got a foul oh, on a reach on Maya Smith. Smith. Yeah. Her second. Team second. Not sure what that was. No. And that was talking to the official. And Came she right to the like sidelines to talk to him. Yeah, I didn't like something. Schmader's back in. She's bringing the ball up. It's like they're spreading There's the court out. Oh, nice. Look, look, they spread the court out. And it worked. Oh, Tagani's down. down. I don't know who. No, it's Schmader's first points of the game. I don't know what happened, but she uh, took one to the stomach also. She probably won't be out for long. No. 21-17. Hill, Hillman's going to run the point now. Looking in the staff. Staff over to Olmstead. Olmstead back. To the put it up. Put it up. There you go. I Is love it? that. That's, that's her bread and butter right there. Very nice. Very nice. Morrison bringing the ball up. Ooh, that could have been a travel. Splenda putting up a three. Oh, my. Nothing but net. 24-19, Lady Rovers. Hillman's bringing the ball up fast. She's looking to set a run a play through Staff. Staff down to Smith. Smith's looking to drive off her feet. Oh. we got a pile up. Nothing. They let him play. Yeah. Schmader comes out with it. Boy, it was like everybody had their hands on that one. Back to her. Oh, my. Oh, this one's coming hey. to me. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Good save. <laughs> Gani checks back in. Ice taking a breather. Oh. I think I'm what, ha sure what, what happened was. to Buttery? She just, like, <laughs> tripped herself. Coaches are laughing because, yep, she tripped herself. <laughs> Tagani's running the point for the Lady Wolves. Down to Olmstead. Olmstead to Smith in the staff. Put it up. Oh, nice. Don't don't foul. No, don't foul. Ooh, a lot of ooh. a lot of contact. Yeah. Ruffs letting the play. Big East basketball. <laughs> Schmader, look, they're they're spreading out. They're almost like in the four corners. What they what they call? I didn't know what they called on that. 21. Smith. That's on Smith. I'm That's not... her third, isn't it? Yeah, it's her third foul. I'm not sure what the call was. But watch Brockway. Brockway's spreading it out. Maybe that was what Gelnett was talking about. I'm not sure. No, she's being held. Yeah, I don't know. See, look, they're spreading out. Uh-oh. Splendid taking another three. A little short. Good block out by Helmer. Yeah. <laughs> Get a little intense. I yeah, Esposito didn't like the call on Hillman putting the old hip check on. Pass down to Smith. Smith oh. looking to drive. No call. No call. Wow. Back to the gun. In, in, and, in out. and out. Ooh. Saf pulls it down and she gets tied No, Olmstead, isn't it? Olmstead. Oh. Oh. What was that? Oh. Technical oh, on Olmstead. She got a technical on Olmstead. She, oh, my. Yeah, yeah. Where'd that come from? She, She's about as calm as you can be yeah, out there. Yeah, she pushed the girl Something back. happened. It should be a I foul think the rest on are Brockway and then a technical on Olmstead after the foul. That's what it looked like. Mm -hmm. There's a restaurant to decide who, who it was. Black 34. There's fouls on Gelnet. And the technicals is on Olmstead. Yeah. I've never seen her show emotion at all like no, that. No, I well, like she's got the foul shot. <laughs> 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 
she had the foul shot and the attack. <laughs> That's the first I've seen oh, yeah. that. Oh, what are we doing here? Well, I'm not sure where that voice came from. Somebody's not happy in no. the stands. Oh. Oh, so she's going to get two shots. I didn't think she was shooting, was she? No, I didn't no. think so either. Oh. Off the oh, rim, both of them. Neither one. Now they should be able to shoot in a technical, right? Looks like On it. Olmstead. It looks like Schmader's going to take the shots. I'd like to see a replay what happened down there. She gets a, she gets a high five or low five there from one of her teammates. Now is she coming out? I don't know. Yeah, I bet you it looks like Ike's coming in. So that is a foul on her though. Yep. Oh. Well, Kane's got to pull together here. Yeah. It's getting out of hand. We yeah. got we got to place. Yep. Home said had to come out, and looks like Ike checked in for her. Kane's going to go into a press. Let's see what happens. Hillman's wired up. Schmader's looking to play point. Brockway's really spreading the ball oh, out. Oh my nice bullet. And, oh, a foul. and a foul on, on Saf. Morrison, that was a nice backdoor cut. They're spreading it out, looking for that backdoor. They have 16 and a quarter. 28-19 Rovers. Wow. Make it 29-19 Rovers. Kane is just that halo. They're just jump ball. Possession Brockway. Possession Brockway. Boy, Brockway fans are getting a little wound their, up. Their fans are getting wound up. The team's playing very well right now. Yeah. Morrison bring the ball up. Guarded by Hellman to Buttery. Buttery to Schmader. See, they're going to go to that soft four corners again. See, they want to get Buttery. Oh, that should have been five seconds. Time out, Brock. Yeah, that should have almost been a turnover. You can see that a little more pep in the step of Brock Raiders than the Wolves right now. I think there's something going on between Hellman and Morrison, too. We'll have to keep an eye on that well, away from the play. They were jawing pretty good, and they were jawing after the timeout, wow. too. So we'll have to watch that and see if that transpires in anything. Little Brockway team's growing up pretty fast, though. <laughs> Coach Weimer wants to get a basket here in the worst way. He needs one. He was pretty adamant on that timeout. The one point Kane lead has turned into a 10 point Brockway lead. Yeah, Kane's not used to this spread no. out offense that they're doing. You got a breakaway. Look. Block. See, they're, they're, Block. That's the one I was just telling you about. Hillman's not, there's no foul. It's just off of Kane. Nice play by Hillman. Oh. They didn't call that, huh? No, they called it off her. Brockway's taking the ball out underneath their own hoop. They're running the stack. Inbound play to Morrison. Morrison back to Nice Schmader. move. Yep, got her up near. A little long. Rebound staff, staff to Hellman. I was going to see if Morrison was going to return the favor on that one. <laughs> Zagani's bringing the ball. Look out. Looking to drive down low. Oh, yeah, take oh it, take she it. wants to bad. Oh, Instead of turning away, gonna she should have walk. She should have took that shot. Oh, look at she There's traveled. a walk. She traveled. Oh, the coach is upset. He's oh, not happy. Oh, boy. He's not happy.
They're bringing uh, freshman duo in for Brockway. 30 seconds Schnack left in the Hughes. third. Uh, that's, smart, that's smart coaching. Take oh, yeah. out the one with big fouls with 30 seconds left. Somebody's got to put up a up. shot. Kane's, Kane's trying to force too much right now. Good pass. They can't get inside. No. Oh, she, oh I thought she traveled. Oh, she, no. Oh, no. Can't get oh, it to my. go. And it got to get a foul on. It's on a... It's on 20? Wait it has to be 30. Buttery because there is no 20. Morrison. Oh, there's Morrison. Yep, Morrison. Yep. It's her yep. second. Kane desperately needs a basket. They're trying to force it. There it is. Get in there, Leah. No. No, a little long. Nice effort for Brockway this quarter. Holy smokes. Brockway bringing their two starters back in, and the two freshmen go out. Wolves are pressing full court. Man to man, looks like. They're pressing, but Brockway's looking, feel like they like where they're at right now. <laughs> better go. You know Haley. Better get on her for that one. Yeah, no. She'll tap. <laughs> she used to come to our practices when I coached with her dad in football. <laughs> She'd run the drills with the guys. Nice shot. Oh, oh my I, boy, if that would have went in. Yo. Wow. Let me run through this for you real quick. We'll see. What's... Okay, 29-19 after three. Let's run through the friends of the Wolfpack for you real quick. Lindsey Novacell, Richard Smith, the Debbie Lenaway family, Keith and Linda Regal, Jack and Linda Headland, Jim and Kathy Graville, Corey Dar, Jason and Crystal Wenzel, Julie and John Cleland, John and Christy Dar, Kellen Greto, Allison Miller, Rennie Sacklin, Penny and Wally Barber, Todd Stanko, Woodside Oils of Kane PA, Rita Graville, Ariane and Jocelyn Graville, Bill and Kim Chiquetti, Karen and Ron Cardi, Denny and Perky Galvin, Joan and Thomas Walker, Misty Slater, Kelly Mays. We would like to thank our friends of the Wolfpack. You get your name on this list, drop off your $10 donation at the photo and sound shop. You can also donate via PayPal at WXCYRadio.com. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to bring these games to you, the listener. 29-19 after three quarters. Yeah. yeah. Seven shout out to Ron Cardi, too. He just lost his wife, Very Karen. Much. They have always been huge sponsors of the Cane Wolves, whether it's football, basketball, big golfers. Very supportive of all Kane athletes. Sorry for your loss, Ron. Haley's bringing the ball in to Gawney on right in front of us. Gawney's looking. Oh, turnover. Oh, nope. She saved the ball. Smith ball into Smith. Oh, Haley's got to take that shot. Somebody's yeah. got to hit from the outside and open Ike's it up. Ike's taking a shot. Down low to Smith. Rebound. Well, it will Hope not go. Rebound over to Morrison. Here's the matchup I want to see. Buttery's putting the ball down up to Gilnat. Gilnat over to Spenda. Spenda puts up a shot. Oh, wow. Banked it in. Yeah. Were her eyes even open on I that? I don't think so. Nope. Makes the score 31 19. 720 to go for the Wolves. We got to get on a streak here. There. Yeah. Yeah. Nice half foul. Very nice. It's got to go through her. Yep. You, she started making it down low. It's yeah. going to open up the outside. They've got to put Hillman. some good pressure on it. Schmader looking, looking the ball over into Splenda. Splenda puts up another one. Oh, rebound stays here off Haley. Okay, Olmstead coming back in now. Who's, who's replacing? President Izzy Saf. Yeah. Oh, give and go. Hey. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice defense by Hillman. Good pass down to Gilnet. Gilnet, did she get fouled? She got, did she travel? It's either Meyer or Haley. No, they, they call traveled. Her? They traveled. She traveled. That, oh, okay. Yeah. Defense was so tight to her, she couldn't was, put the ball down, yeah. so she took that extra step. We'll have to get that. As soon as the game's over, we'll go run yeah. to the drum line. 
Good save by Ike. Ike pass over to Olmstead. Olmstead down low to Haley. Haley looks to dribble out. Almost got it Take picked it off. Oh. Olmstead pass. And Hillman got called for that one. I think she's walking away. Yep, that's, that's her third, third foul. She made her bring the ball up, spreading out. She's looking to drive coast to coast, and she gets fouled either by she's uh, she's Sigani. she's feeling it. Yeah. When they spread this out, she, yep. she's looking to drive. Yep. That's a third foul on Leah too. Schneider gets the roll. How many points is she up? She only has five. It's, it's wow, like, it seems like she has yeah. more than that. Spinda has twenty. Has fourteen. She's been do doing everything else. Schaefer checks in for the Wolves. That's her first minutes tonight. Schmader puts up the second shot and rolls in. 33-21. Wolves don't have time to settle down. They're going to have to run a fast offense here. Degani over to Smith. Puts up a shot. They're just, Air ball. There's just nothing there. Nope. Buttery foul. Broccoli control. Oh, my. Wow, Schmader kept dribble. I just thought it was going to get picked by two or three players. There's what you want to see. It stays here, though. Tagani was on her, but. Yep. Schmader's inbounding the ball, guarded by Tagani. Splendid. That's the one you don't want. Nice bounce Given pass. Oh, Morrison. I think Haley was overplaying that, looking to pick it off, and she got it back door cut on her. 35-21, Lady Rovers. Degani looking the ball over. Passes Schaefer. Schaefer back to Degani. Degani puts up a three. A little long. Rebound, Smith. Stripped away. Jump oh. ball. It's coming the other way. Ike. Hey, good hustle on her part. Oh, my. She was right in amongst all them black shirts. And now the possession arrow favors the Wolves now. Morrison. Oh, Linda's looking. Oh, she break. traveled. A, she traveled. Brockley just got to keep from not making mistakes. They're, yeah. They're in the driver's seat right now. 5-11 left in the game. Dumani's bringing the ball up. Kate. Schaefer. Oh. Pass over to Smith. Driving down low. Double teamed out to Dugani. Dugani looking to drive. Throws up a shot, no good. Rebound Smith, backing she, in. He's just, oh, Gil not oh, got a, reached in, but. Yeah, just off of, off of Brockway. Yep. Brockway's game plan's working. We're gonna make yeah. Kane shoot from the outside. We're not letting right. him in at all. Le Leah's shot just is not yeah. falling today. Just not falling. Come on, Hales, get in there. Oh. And Haley's threes yeah. aren't falling tonight either. That's cane ball again. Time's running out, though. Mm -hmm. Haley's bringing the ball in underneath. Nope, they're going to bring it out on the left, the left wing. Looking to pass out to Degani. Degani looking to drive. She backs over. Get in there. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Fine. Haley Schaefer, 35-24. Come on, let's play some defense, Wolves. Steal. Oh, there we go. Come on, Man. Haley, nice and soft, nice and soft. Hail there Mary. you go. Time out, Brockway. Nice. That's what they need, a little run, a little perk. Yeah. Then we can run through. We got we got a minute. We can While hear they're the, playing. Hear the drum <laughs> line in the distance. We'll try to run through the names of the players up there. Matthias Morris, Myron Mallory. Karen Bosher, Megan Jones, Chad Johnson, Gracie Mealy, Marley Rostin, Luke Jackal, Isis Wareham, Nate Brook, Anna Peterson, Ray Ann Rott, Elena McGuire, Abby Shrub, Anna Shrub, Lucy Stevens, Stevie Gabriel, Abby Hollabaugh, Natasha Stevens, Madeline McDermott, John Bell, 
Mason Mary, Max Smith, Logan Gabriel, James Sweetengel, Courtney Asel, Max Smith, and Brady Jones. They do a phenomenal what job. An, what an addition to the atmosphere. Phenomenal job. I said they're just, you know, they bring so much to the game. It, it's just fun. I'd like to see him go down and do a middle school basketball oh. game. That place would go crazy That's down it. there. Even the little kids well, we would had, love that. They had the little dribblers here one night when they were here, and they were just into it. <laughs> the game was, it was a girls game, I think, but it was so loud in here. The kids were really into it. it looks like the Wolves are going to press the Rovers. Why not? Nine-point lead. Why Kane's not? not out of it. We can, if the press can work, we're not out of it. Why not? Get a turnover here. Hey, Hummel on the floor. Let's yeah. see. Morrison passes up. She's going to go coast to coast. And, and makes yeah. a basket. Eight points for Schmader. That hurt. I think Haley falling yeah. hurt. You know, they were, we were one girl short. Tagani down to Ike. I look for Haley again. She's open. Put up another yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, Batted away. Schmader. Oh, on oh, the run. No. On the run. Good, good play by Haley. Haley Schaefer, Schaefer saved that one. It's off yeah. her. Yeah. Good hustle. Good hustle for 11th grade. Nice. Pagani bringing the ball up. Kane went small. Yep. Both the big girls are out. I think Staff's still feeling that one she took to the chest. I think they've got to get some shot she, shots. She's she's hurting. Kylie's where's she going? Back to Haley. She's trying to go. Oh, pick oh, that put shot. Put it up. Put it up. Off oh, the rim. Little long. Oh, Kane's down. She's, she's okay. What do we got? Yeah. Got a foul called. On uh, Morris. Morrison. Morrison in the corner. That's her yeah. third foul. Yeah. Team's first. No, wait. No. No, it's not, what's the call? Turnover. It was no foul. Yeah. yeah two, it was? It was on Schaefer. It was on Schaefer. Yeah, I thought it was on Splenda. There's another Splenda, one with yeah, Kylie Ike. Ike. Yeah, she knows, she knows it. She's, she's not in her head. That's her third foul. Why not? You yeah. got the fouls, put them underneath. Yeah. Give us a chance to set up the press. There was going with. So she wants the ball in her hand. Yeah, she's not afraid to not take the ball. Not at all. Nice. Oh. She's only a sophomore. Yes, she's she is. Underneath. All the way. All the way. That's killing. She's up. the real deal. Yep. 39-26, Lady Rovers. 3:08 to play. Smith, nice cut. Back yeah, door. Still oh. won't go for her, and she's fouled over the top. You'll net. She's, she's not in her yep, head yet. She knew four. it. That's her four. Staff checking in. She's been out for a while. Her. Yeah, I think she got winded on that one. <laughs> Haley's pass out to Gani. Almost a turnover. Bend is on her. I don't know where she's going in there. I don't know. Out to Schaefer. Schaefer. Yeah. Feed her, huh? Got it. Morrison guarded by Hellman. Yep. Morrison going takes, again. Oh no. Oh, she's in the tree. Yeah. Schaefer got called for the foul. She's not happy. You got to be careful. You don't want to show both the officials. That wasn't the show, but she was. Yeah, she was. She just can't. No. Yeah. Look at her. Who me? Look, look, he's telling her. Can't be doing that. Oh no, that who's. That was on Leah. I thought they called her in Schaefer. Yeah, so did I. No, Leah's, that's her fourth. Yeah. Swish. She didn't score in the first half. She's got 11 this half. Huh? I can see Smader going after Tagani to get the fifth yeah. foul on her now, too, when they do that spread. I think that's her first, first missed foul that shot. That could be. Hillman bringing the ball up, guarded by Spinda. Clock's ticking away, though. It's over to Smith. Double teamed in the corner. Oh. In the staff. Tipped away. Look out. Right oh, that's off Haley. Yep. And she's. I got to give Brockway credit. That young team is really growing they up are. tonight. They're hustling. They are. They're playing within their game. Oh, they are. Spend it. And she is, she is so poised. Oh, look who's Gardner. Don't you think they're going to go after her? Spinda gave the ball up, up to Buttery. Buttery's looking to drive. 
Oh, they got fouled by Saf uh, on a reach. Yeah. And I don't think Buttery had good control of that ball. I don't think so either. I don't think she needed to get that foul. She wasn't going anywhere. They're in it. a bonus situation anyway right now. No, they're not. Nope. Yeah, they are. Yep, five. It's Buttery's at the Buttery hasn't scored. Now yeah. she has. Yeah. That's a unique foul shoot. Yeah. It's like almost like a set shot. Oh, oh. good. No, she is wow. again. Oh, my. There's that drive again. What? And what? Oh, my. That's she's a, a sophomore. That, who's that foul on? I think that's going to be on. Number one. No, Schaefer. Nope. No, yep. Two on her. 43-29. Schrader's really taking over this game. She has. She really has. And spend this couple threes. Yeah. That, that was a turning point, too. In and oh, out. in and out. You got over the yeah. back on Buttery. 30. Buttery. Yeah. There you get there again, what you said earlier. Brockway doesn't need to do those things. Keep that clock going. Yeah. Don't yeah. do them yeah. over the back fouls. It stops the clock, lets the Wolves set something up. I think but Izzy, that's youth. I think that's Izzy, youth. I think Izzy, her, Izzy's under the weather. She's she's not she's not herself. No. Johnny shot a little long, rebound and buttery. Oh, they got away with Swift by Smith. Haley Hammer. Oh, she, <laughs> she's just a little bit too. Oh, double dribble. <laughs> double dribble. Oh my. One forty-four left in this game. Second half's been all Brockway. Oh, she needs to take that shot right away. Nice and pass inside. In Ike. Oh. Ike's going to go to the line and shoot two. There again, Brockway Fouls. just go up. And, well, that's fourth on, on Schmader, but it's, they're too little too late here. Yeah. She just needs to go straight yeah. up with her hands. Ike nice. for the Nice. Her second point of the night. 140 left makes the score 43-30, Brockway. Oh, lane violation. Turnover to the Brockway. She had such a high yeah. arcing shot, she got across the line before it even hit the rim. Morrison. Oh, oh. Way to go, Haley. One thirty-five left. Gant, there you go. I'll take that. Nice. 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 Turnover to Downey. Oh, she's too. Oh, I thought she was too far under. Thirty-five, forty-three. Oh, Haley. Oh, that was all ball. That was all ball. Yeah, it was. That was all ball. Right in front of us. Yeah. That's four on. Haley. They got the Wolves back into it. Yep. 117 left. This, this is huge. She misses this, we get a rebound. That's huge. 44 35. 117 left. Schaefer looking to pass it. You can't. Nope. Time. Time. Nine points. Weimer. Coach Weimer called time. 111 left in the, the fourth period. 44 35. Lady Rovers. It's got to be a fast shot. Oh, and yeah. They can't be passing the ball around. They it's got to be one pass and in. Schaefer has a hot hand. I would like to look maybe to get her the ball. That's her only hope, I think. Yeah. Nobody else needs to be able to make an outside no. shot today. I mean, they played hard. It's like they just couldn't get the shots to fall. 
Once looking again, at. it seemed like we're getting out rebounded like five to one. Yeah. The first half definitely was. The second half, we're more aggressive on the boards, but the ball just wouldn't go in the basket. No. As each second ticks off, Broccoli's got a little more and more confident, too. So it's like. Mark my words in a couple years. Oh, my. They're gonna, their record is not going to be 7 and 13 no. at this point. They need some height, though. They don't have much that way, but they got hustle. Haley's bringing the ball in out to Tagani. Right here, they got to go. They got to go. Go, Hale. Go, Hale. They got it. There you go. Put Get it in up. There. Haley shot a little long rebound. Buttery out to Spinda. Spinda. Fowler. Fowler. That's, out of, that's off her. Oh. No. Ike checking in for staff. That's it. Put a little speed on you. Put him on the foul line. Can't let the time go off the clock. Ooh. Watch your feet. Watch Ooh, your that was close. That was close. There's a walk. What do they call? What do they call a foul? Two shot. I think that was on Smith. Nope. On Schaefer again. That's her third. This is the girl you don't want on You're putting line. her back on the line, no. Foul somebody away from the ball. Oh, my. 14 points all in the second half. 45-35. Less than a minute to go. And she makes the second one, 46-35. They got to go. Put it up. Pagani puts up shot. Oh, in and out, three points. Another foul on Kane. Haley, she's talking yep. now. Oh, look, the official's looking at her like she. It's on number two. It's on Schaefer again. It's her fourth. Yeah. The officials coming over to talk to ha Haley Hillman. <laughs> yeah. She she wears her emotions on her mm -hmm. sleeve, is it? There's there's no hiding it. Yeah, if he would have caught her mouth yeah, chirping, yeah. he would have <laughs> he would have teed her up. Yep. She's intense, no doubt about mm -hmm. it. I love her. Lover did that. Yep. Good person off the yes, court. Yep. Timeout Esposito. He wants a full timeout. 47 35, 39 and a half seconds left in the game. Uh, the Wolves' effort was there today. It sure was. It sure was. But and it's not going to get any easier. Friday night, they got to go to Bird. Get a bird. And it's if you one. want to go down and watch, the game's going to start at 3.30. All four, JV All Burson. four. It, the girls and boys are both going to be in Bird Friday night. So they're gonna, they're and gonna, then they're on the road next week with Smithport. Yeah. So yeah. going into the playoffs, you want to get on a roll. Well, right now it's going to drop them to 9 and 10. So they got to win the last two to get right. I mean, either way, it's I think it's They're Brooke both Philadelphia. winnable. Yeah. They're both winnable games. Johnsonburg down. Down there is a different yeah. animal, yeah. but it's a still a winnable game. Yeah. Tonight, I thought they'd, they'd get the fire underneath them, get yeah. a win tonight, so they didn't have to rely on. Well, they they let Brockway stay in the game, and then Brockway got a little, they got comfortable with it. They just took a little Smith took it over. takes a three in the corner, no good. Rebound stays here, out of bounds. Haley's bringing the ball in from out of bounds. Over to Ike. Ike to Smith. Oh, overplayed by Morrison. Put Haley up. puts one long. up. A little long. Maya pulls it Rebound down. She's going to turn and she throw did. it up the other way off the back of the back. Yeah. Hey, you have to do that. Hey. You, you can't burn time. Time's she's, our enemy She's right smiling now. over that now. I mean, there was not much yeah. else we could do. Yeah. Leaning back one-legged, that's just the way it's going to go. Oh, I thought Lee was getting her fifth right there. Oh, she did. Oh, she tripped her. Not intentionally, but she went. Now she's upset. She tripped her. That's my senior yeah. night just ended. Yeah, you don't want to see no. 
somebody getting hurt. This kind of ended that. the same way the boys' senior night did. It was a tough ending, was it? Uh, Esposito ain't happy with that foul. He thought it was intentional. No, I don't think there was intent. He got caught up and. Forty-eight thirty-five. Boy, what a half she's had. Rockway's pulling everybody back. They didn't want to foul anybody. They let the Wolves take the rebound. And they don't need it because Schmader made both of them. 49-35, 15 seconds left. Hillman looking to drive. Oh, and she's oh. on the floor. Nope, wasn't her going down. It was Schmader. Yeah. I think Schmader fouled out. I think out. she just did, too. Got to give her credit. What yeah. an effort. Yeah. She played Eight, hard. 18 points all in the second half. She played hard. There's a smile and high five from the coach. Yeah. Hey. hey. That's how it's going to end. 49-38. Oh, Haley's pretty upset. We got outscored 20 to 19. The fourth quarter, third quarter did them in. Yeah. Third Ro quarter did them in. Rovers are lined up for the handshake. Going to break away to the station, I think, for a couple of minutes and come back for a recap. Basketball on 101.7 XZY, supported by our friends of the Wolfpack and businesses like these. W.E. Swanson Insurance Agency, offering auto, homeowners, and business insurance at 23 Fraley Street in Kane. W.E. Swanson Agency.com. Zook Motors, with new and pre-owned vehicles and a service and parts department. They're online at zookmotors.net. Lindbergh Furniture, Route 219 north of Johnsonburg, and now Lindbergh Sleep Center at 410 Center Street in downtown Johnsonburg. They're a local dealer for brands like Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Ashley. More info at LindberghFurniture.biz. Dine Excavating. Their services include gravel and limestone, topsoil, and septic tanks. Located on Route 6 west of Kane, their phone number is 814-837-6990. Allegheny Eye Care, providing eye exams and additional coverage for eye and health situations in both of their Kane and Smithport locations. For more information, their phone number is 814-837-7880. Field Street Boots in Kane, a dealer for Carhartt and Timberline clothing as well as winter footwear and sporting goods. They're on Facebook under Field Street Boots. Highlander Energy, an industrial contractor specializing in the power, petrochemical, natural gas processing, pulp and paper industries. HighlanderEnergy.com. Kane Lumber and Fuel True Value Hardware. Building supplies, lighting, winter snow and ice removal products at their location on Hemlock Avenue in Kane. Rich Gas of Kane, providing propane gas services, including delivery and installation with automatic refills. Online at richgasinc.com. We thank these sponsors and friends like you for supporting Kane Wolves basketball coverage on 1017 XZY. WXZY Tell your Alexa device, Alexa, play WXZY. We are back in the Wolves' den for tonight's contest. Tough loss for the Lady Wolves, 49-38. Rockway came back and scored 37 in the second half compared to Kane's 25. Yeah. Uh, tough game all around. Uh, yeah. Scoring-wise, I think it was Sophie Schneider, second half. It was her show. If you looked at the Rockway, they had five people score. The three top scorer, Schmader, 18, a sophomore. Spindler, 14. A sophomore. Morrison, 11, a freshman. Five for senior Reagan Gelnet, one for Buttery for a total of 49 points. For the Lady Wolves, it was a tough shooting night. They, they hustled, they scrapped, banged on the boards, but the ball wouldn't fall. Uh, Maya Smith led the way with 10. Izzy Saf had nine. Haley Schaefer, six. Haley Hillman, five. Alexa Olmstead had four early. And Leah Tagani, two for a total of 38 points. So 49-38 was the final score. See where we got. It's been a 
How, how ironic, though. We go down there and win by 11, and they come in here and Turn beat us tide. by 11. Turn the tide. It was just like night and day. I said, you got to be impressed with the, the play of the, the Brockway young kids. Oh, yeah. I mean, and I think when uh, – when uh, staff got into it with uh, Yonat, they kind of bumped into each other. Yeah. Knocked the wind out of her. She wasn't the same the second half. No, no. You know. Kane continued to try to force it inside. Brockway shut down that lane. There was nothing nothing coming inside. Kane fought hard for rebounds in the second half. Ball would not drop, though. No, no. And then when Brockway did that four and one, that box, and they spread it out and let uh, Schmader drive down the middle of the lane. That was the game changer. She wanted the ball in her hands. She, she knew was what nothing to do in the first it. half. Nothing. All her points were in the second half. Yeah. So and, I said, no, oh, it's a tough night for the seniors to end, yeah. but we do want to recognize them one more time just for Please. all they put in. I mean, they're great, great kids, great on leaders and off of the, the team. Court, whatever uh, sport they play. Yeah. Haley Hillman, Kylie Ike, uh, Maya Smith, Leah Tagani, and our scorekeeper. Frankie Ishman. So she does a great job. She does she? a great job. She's been at it a couple of years, so it's she's been you know it's been great for Mr. Smith and uh, Mr. Weimer over there to have her aside and and big shout out to Bill Chiquetti and Larry Smith. They, always, you know, always. They're here every night. They are. I mean, they one, are. One's so at the one's at the score table. One's at the ticket booth every day. Yeah, and they do a phenomenal job. Yeah. You got any questions? You ask them. They're right on it. Yep. They can tell you. You so know, who the officiating crew is, and you know, get the scores and stats from the other team for us. Yeah. So, so looking down the road, I think the Lady Wolves will be in the districts either way. It's going to be a three-team race for this year. Yep. Level three next year, they'll drop to division two or whatever. Double two A, league. double A with maybe twelve, thirteen teams. Yeah, but it's yeah. it sounds good that you're dropping down. Yeah. But uh, it's a tough you're competition. playing with the Red Banks. Yeah, but this way, you're going to probably pair it up with Brookville in the. In the next round, I'm gonna, it'll be a neutral court game, and the winner will get Carn City. So, I mean, it's a three-team race, but I think three teams they can all they can all win it. Yeah, it's not any one team with. They got to go there. into Berg, and they got to beat Berg. They Berg, Berg and, and Smithport, Berg. they end the two left. Uh, we haven't heard anything from the, the, the Wolves. The Wolves are in Brockway tonight too. I've heard no score Ooh, coming yeah, back. Yeah, I didn't hear any update. So that, on they, that they're either. playing, and they're fortunately I don't think they're going to playoffs. And they ended up no. hit a tough couple losses there, but. They'll be home Tuesday night. They play in Berg Friday, both boys and girls. Yeah. Like and I said, you better be there early because it starts at 3.30. Yeah, they for they the get JV JVs. for both of them. And I do believe there's a game next Tuesday, I think. Uh, Smithport. Smithport. Uh, just, just just drew a blank. But it's, uh, I think, Chris Barber with I don't know Braden. I think it's Braden and somebody bringing that last game. It'll be Cranberry here, the last boys home game. For them, but it is Tuesday night. I know that. So Boy, it's been a long time since I've seen Cranberry play. Yeah, so it's been a it's been a good night for the for the girls. Not it didn't end in the way they wanted, but we're gonna hope for the best coming down the road. Two games left. We'll Jim, see. it was a pleasure working with you. That I worked with you outside of the basketball it? court for about twenty five years. How about it? And now I get to do a game with you. This is my last game of the year. Well, it's it's both of ours because mm-hmm. we're we're pretty much done that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, John behind us, we're happy and thankful. So I think we'll and our friends, our friends that donate, you know, thank you so much because couldn't we do it without make, you. Nope, not at all. So not at all. I guess we send it back to Joe at the station and from the Wolf 